Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Deep Blue Sea, starring Thomas Jane, Saffron Burles, LL Cool J, Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson, Stellan Skarsgård, Michael Rappaport, and Daniel Ray, and directed by Rennie Harlan. Now before I get into this movie, I wanted to say right off the bat, why am I doing Deep Blue Sea? Well, the video sequel that's been out for a month. So... Is it as good as everyone remembers, or is it as bad as everyone remembers? Let's take a look, shall we? We open the movie with some college students drinking and having sexual intercourse until a great white shark attacks then them, and now, am I dreaming, or is this thing so fucking stupid? Starting off with college kids almost getting killed until it's captured by Carter Blake, played by 2004's Punisher Thomas Jane. This is the stupidest fucking opening ever, right? Next scene, we meet Saffron Burroughs' character, Dr. Susan McAllister, along with her boss, Russell Franklin, played by Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson, who's a better character than Dr. McAllister and any of these characters, for that matter. With an, and I don't think any of these characters, with an exception of Russell, are just... The, they're just absolutely... Ha the worst, ha including Carter, who is very bland in this movie, and I don't care for any of these characters at all. Dr. McAllister's trustworthy colleague, Jim Woodlock, played by Stellan Skarsgård, is just like any other character here who I don't care for. In the next scene, we get introduced to Preacher, played by LL Cool J, who is pretentious in this movie as well. When the sharks are attacking underwater, it felt very cartoony, and the CGI on this thing are just half-assed. The script is very half-assed, might I add. I hate Preacher's Bird. I think it's an obnoxious character, very unnecessary, and I do not know why we need a parrot in this movie. It's about a great white shark attacking people, not smart-ass birds. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like Jaws 3 and Jaws the Revenge, this script is just a motherfucking mess. Whitlock is the first to be attacked by a shark by eating his arm off. I thought, damn, that may be the first death I'll have seen of Stellan Skarsgård, and he gets taken out pretty damn quick. But it still looked terrible. I was so fucking glad the preacher's bird got eaten by a shark once the place floods up, because I really hate that fucking bird. Preacher throws a lighter on the oven and kills a shark, the shark that eats him up, and it explodes it was a hell of a lot ch of a cheap sequence. Meanwhile, Russell gets eaten by two sharks, which looked, which looked a hell of a lot worse than the explosion and the movie does. Dies down to really fucking hating this goddamn movie to death because I want Sam motherfucking Jackson to live throughout the motherfucking movie. Carter leads everyone out of the water, and I just wanted this fucking movie to end after Sam motherfucking Jackson dies in this movie, be, but still gets, we still got more movie to go. Dr. McAllister tries to grab a bag of something, and I could not help but scream at the screen, Bitch, leave the motherfucking shit alone, that motherfucker, until she electrocutes the shark that attacks her, and that was a stupid choice of her to go after the bag. I and I agree with Preacher that we the audience that we the audience need to get the fuck out of this motherfucking movie. Doctor McAllister dies, good fucking riddance. And Carter and Preacher try to kill the final shark, and it, because there were supposed to be three in there, will explode and they will they wait for people to come out to help them out of the the station where they work like finally I'm waiting for this fucking movie to be done with and it and it ends in within 10 fucking seconds now it's time for the rating of this damn thing I'll give this movie a 1.9 out of 10 this is perhaps the worst great white shark movie yet to date I don't care for these fucking characters and the sharks moving underwater looked so fake and after Sam motherfucking Jackson dies, I wanted this thing to be done. And about 50 minutes later, it's finally over. Not yet, 
because we got a the video sequel. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to that. As well as The Shallows and The Meg later this summer. So I'll be back next week with Deep Blue C2. And until next time, kill the motherfucking shark!